So sourcing air freight cargo is definitely no walk in the park. So in this video, I just want to go over and talk about some tips and some tricks that you guys can be using to help yourself out this week while we are going to be sourcing some cargo here at the air freight because it is dishing out times and a half. So that's a 50% extra bonus here on the money. All right, you guys, so this is it right here. I actually got a mission that's going to be one of the easier missions. So the easier missions are going to be this. They're just going to be vehicles like airplanes. That's all it's going to be is just like some sort of aircraft. You have to go get the aircraft and then just bring it back to the hangar. That's the whole mission right there. And if you guys have been doing any type of air freight sourcing of cargoes or anything like that, you would know that they give you some god awful missions and nobody wants to spend like a half an hour doing one mission here for sourcing just one crate that's only worth like thirty thousand dollars okay so if we go ahead and do this and you guys spawn outside and you do not get an easy mission like what i got just to go ahead and get an aircraft and bring it back to the hangar then all other missions are going to be potentially a lot longer a lot more frustrating and yeah it's just going to be a lot more annoying in my experience these are the more easier missions that i do to go ahead and fill up my hangar is just grabbing the one aircraft and bring it back and then honestly if you guys don't get what you want just go ahead and restart application make sure you guys do um potentially have like you know a, a living quarters inside of your hangar and then from there once you restart your application potentially you guys can just load right back into your hangar if you have your you know your spawn location set to your hangar then of course you guys would load right back in there because for me personally right now i am not messing around with any other missions besides these type of missions right here and literally all i have to do since um my hangar is over at the military base a lot of the times like all i have to do is just go into sandy shores here i'm literally just flying out to sandy shores i'm probably gonna have to battle a couple people like some gang members or something like that but that's an everyday thing anyways in grand theft auto uh grab a vehicle and then just scooch on back to the hangar turn it in and bam we are good to go all also, I want to remind you guys that this week, hangers and all modifications for hangers are 30% off. So if you're wanting to go ahead and switch your hanger or something like that, maybe you're an LSIA, you want to go back to the military base, maybe you're in the military base, you want to go to the LSIA, well, you guys are going to be getting a discount this week to be doing that and also setting up modifications. So it looks like I got to go to this hangar over here. There's literally only like two hangers out in Sandy Shores. There's this one right here, which would be Trevor's hangar, I think. And then there's the uh, the other one out there in the desert, whatever. And those are like, like the only two locations that I've ever had to go and get some of these vehicles like this. I think this one right here is like a Rogue or something like that. I don't know. And then also, just to let you guys know, if you don't have like the discounts on any of these vehicles, these flying vehicles that came into the game a long time ago with the Hangar DLC, each time that we steal one of these vehicles, we will be actually getting the trade value price. So look how easy this uh, sourcing mission is. All I had to do is fly over to the airport, kill some people, grab this vehicle, and now uh, we are on our way back to the hangar. Now, also, I wanted to go ahead and mention this, too. Not like it's going to be that big of a deal, but yes, on our way back to the hangar, we will be getting chased by, like, maybe some buzzards or possibly some lasers or something like that. It's going to be up to you guys whether you want to go ahead and, like, dodge those missiles that they're going to be shooting at you or just turn the vehicle around and then just take them out. So I still have, like, people on me right now trying to shoot me, but we're going to go ahead and try to just scooch on into this military base without them firing missiles at me which looks like they're coming in close hold on how we're gonna have to do some evasive maneuvering here to dodge these missiles Woo! <laughs> that was close all right there we go man <laughs> we gotta go there oh they got me they got me hey i still made it though still made it and there we go you guys i literally just sourced a cargo and it was super easy and God knows I've experienced a lot of awful sourcing of cargoes here over at the Air Freight. So I'm telling you, just find a new session until you get one of those missions right there. And if you don't want to wait like the two minutes out, just restart your application, load back in, load back into the hangar, and just keep sourcing. And these missions right here will guarantee you guys uh, a lot more success than the longevity of the other missions and wasting of time in my opinion but anyways from there if you guys enjoyed the video and it was helpful in any way hit that like button on the way out subscribe for new content leave a comment and thanks for watching my name is gravesite and i will see you in the next one so peace